Hello, and welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at Mary Shelley's Frankenstein on the Super Nintendo System of Entertainment. Uh, there's probably some, some story and some whatnot here. Um, you can get into, uh, looks like a password game, so you can um, save your progress and not have to start over. So now you can uh, look there at some options. Um, if you don't have an instruction book, sometimes it's good. You can see the controls and the options. And a lot of time you can set them to how you like it. Sometimes they make jump like some random button or they or they put like the main action button in a weird spot and you can, uh, you know, adjust that. Anyway, we're going to start the game. Alright, so you are that guy, whatever his name is, level one. Um, th this game is similar to, uh, like, I don't know if you've seen or played... Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. It looks like it's almost identically made to that game. Um, it's also equally as terrible. As a matter of fact, I think this might be worse. So those guys are real pain in the ass. You can throw a Hadouken, if you so choose, with uh, the special button, which is X. They do that down poking stab thing. Um, I think you can go in some of the doors somehow. Maybe not that one. Some of them you can go in. Um, sometimes there's different stuff in here. Looks like I just went in there, whatever that did. Uh, maybe... You um, you can push up and, you know, pull on those handles. Um, as you see here, I lit my torch thing on fire. It probably does more damage or scares them or I don't even know. Um, sometimes those window people will, uh, drop life. I don't know what's in these treasure boxes. Maybe that uh, it's an end of the level bonus or something, but, uh, they never, I can't really tell. They don't seem to give me anything. Um... So this part's a little trickier here. Um, I don't know if it's timed on those levers, or basically if you pull them once from then on. You have to push down to pick shit up, which is a little weird. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if once you pull the lever, they're good for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the level. But I think. Oh shit! Oh, that's not good. I have to go all the way back around because I jumped over that damn thing. I'm just going to run through that guy because he pisses me off. Maybe these villagers, you can't hurt them. So this one, it must be timed or something because, yeah, you got to run up here. Oh, no, I think I screwed up. you got to run up here before that heads back up. Um, I think there's something over there if you jump on the house. But we're not going to go that way. Oh, fuck. So, but yeah, basically I, I thought this game was going to be cool, so I picked it up. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's similar to a lot of platformers of this era. Um, but the controls and the lack of, like, what appears to be any kind of, um, none of it really makes any sense on, like, where you're supposed to go. There's not any clear direction. Um, I like games that are more challenging as far as, you know, you having to figure out where to go and how to do it, but this, this just doesn't seem to, um, wow. Huh. Well, that guy wrecked me. Um, yeah, it just doesn't seem to, to really tell you any significant, like, way to go or anything. Um, the levers themselves seem to be um, more confusing in a, in a sense. Oh, dang. Um, so, and it's just, it's just not very fun. Um, the animation is pretty shitty. Uh, the attack, uh, the attacks you do, not that great. Um, I hate opening treasure chests and having nothing inside. Um, I'd rather have open it and tell me to fuck myself um, than to have, have nothing, because that's just super disappointing. Um, but anyway, yeah, you're supposed to go in a certain way and do a certain thing. Um, let's see. 
Maybe I go in this door. I oh, don't know, I figured this out once. Like, I got stuck here, then I figured it out, then, like, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you jump over here. So, anyway, I got to this other part of the level slightly past here, got stuck. Oh, awesome. But, yeah, it, the controls are really bad. It's difficult to turn and move and jump or attack. Um, this dog is going to wreck me, probably. Oh, yeah, he killed me. So, game over. Um, I don't know if you get any continues. I do like that uh, Da Vinci animation there. That's pretty cool. Um, might only get one guy to beat the whole damn game, is what it looks like. Um, so, interesting idea. I like that it's a movie, a movie, book, video game, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, there are some interesting features with the game, um, but just the lack of, of uh, just there doesn't seem fun to play at all. Like, you'd think it would be awesome. You're Frankenstein, you're set in this cool world of mythology and all that different kind of stuff, and, um, but I couldn't get into it. Um, maybe I was just more excited to play it, and, and maybe that had something to do with it, you know, anticipating a, a cool game, and and it not actually uh, being cool. Um, but yeah, if you, if you like what you see, check it out. Go pick it up. Uh, maybe you can get further in it and, and, and give me some, um, you know, leave some feedback as to, hey, you know, you just got to play past this first level and then the next level is really cool and, uh, you know, you get to this part where you're Victor Frankenstein with the lightning and the, it's alive and, the, you know, maybe you get to do some cool shit in the laboratory and, uh, yeah. So, but yeah, right here you got your like your typical Super Nintendo graphics, but it's like once you get into the actual gameplay, it's it's gritty and and not well well made as far as I, uh, I can I can tell. But uh, yeah, this part is actually pretty cool. I've never really watched it, so I'm gonna take a look. That's all you get. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys.